Lewin Town have made the third summer transfer signing and in today's video I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Chong signing from Birmingham City but before I do guys can we please drop a like on today's video the more likes we get on my videos the better the video does it reaches out to a much wider audience also drop a comment below on your thoughts on Luton signing Chong and also subscribe to the channel if you are new it is free to do so let's try and gain as many subscribers before the Premier League season starts so Luton obviously have made their third summer signing of the window and it is Chong from Birmingham City. This is so far probably our record transfer fee. I don't know if we're going to break it again. Probably we are in this summer transfer window. I'm not too sure. You know, Luton spending money, this amount of money in particular is pretty much unheard of um, since we've existed as a football club. But it is great that we are signing some top quality players. I am super happy that we've managed to bring Chong in. When you look back at that game where Birmingham did beat us 5-0, he was that standout player. He was the one that put on a show and he even made some supporters clap him off when he actually got sobbed off for Birmingham. He was brilliant that day, caused such an impact for Birmingham and he is a player that really does excite me. Now, if you told me last season that we would have signed a player like him, I would have said, you're, you're joking. Like, I would have never have believed you. But the fact that we are now managing to attract quality players just like Chong just shows you how far we have come as a football club, but also our you know, intentions going into this Premier League season. Now, Chong, the way he suits our system, I do think he'll play as a centre midfielder or as a number 10 or behind the striker or alongside the striker. I don't think we're going to be playing wingers. I think we are going to keep the same system which we have been playing with the three out the back with the two wing backs. I definitely think that is the way we are going to be playing um, in this first Premier League season. Um, it's the way Rob Edwards likes to play. And I do think Chong can have an impact, whether that's alongside Clark or alongside Pelly in the midfield, or maybe partnering up with Morris up top, one of the two. Or maybe we'll have no defensive midfielder. We'll play Clark, we'll play Pelly, and then we'll play someone like Chong in front of those two players. I'm not too sure, but it's going to be interesting to see the way Chong gets introduced into our team. Do I have any worries about Chong? Yes, I do. Of course I do. The one worry which I have is, is what he does off the ball. It's proven and you can look at all of his highlights which he has done throughout his career, whether that's at Manchester United or if that was at Birmingham. You know his quality on the ball is absolutely fantastic. You know you give him the ball, he can beat three or four players and cause a few problems. I have no question marks over what he can do with the ball. It's what he does off the ball is the what worries me the most. Can he offer a lot to us defensively? Because there's going to be times, as I've already mentioned so frequently in these videos, is that other teams are going to dominate possession. And he's definitely going to be a player which, when we are in possession, he's going to be the one causing the problems. What is he like when we don't, we don't have the ball, when we're chasing the game, where we kind of need him to get some tackles in, you know, dig deep and try and help us, you know, win back possession. That's what I want to really see from him. And that's what I'm going to be paying a lot more attention to um, when he starts playing games for us in, in these pre-season friendlies. I do want to make sure that I get to at least one pre-season friendly and see the way we set up and the way um, how our new players, you know, implement with the current group of players at the at the club. That's what I'm really um, looking forward to seeing. But that's my biggest worry with John. My second biggest worry is, is he a 90-minute player? That's my um, second question. It Can he cause an impact in every single minute in a game? It's okay being a good player in stages, but what makes you a top player compared to an average player is causing problems all the time. You know, you see the top players, when they have an impact, they can do it at any given moment. We, they don't just do it in patches, they do it in at any moment of the time. You give them the ball, they produce that moment. Can Chong, like Chong do that? If he can do that, then fantastic. I can't wait to, um, to see him in that Luton shirt. But that would be my second question for him. Can he be more than just a player that performs in moments? Can he perform throughout the 90 minutes? But look, if we look at him as a whole, 
he is a good player. For the amount of money which we have spent on him as well, 5 million, it will rise to 10 million with add-ons. That's fine, that's totally fine. Because if we are paying more money in add-ons, that means we have done better as a football club and we are progressing, you know? Okay, he gets a staying up bonus. Fantastic, we get another year of Premier League football. So it works in our favour as well. You know, he gets the add-ons, Birmingham get the add-ons in money. We also do really well on the pitch and we keep, you know, improving as a football club. This four min the five million pounds um which we have spent, it's not paid straight away up top, it's paid in, in instalments, six months, a year, you know, gradually over his contract period. Um, that's how it works, you know, a lot of people are getting worried, I can't believe we've spent this amount of money, we're Premier League now. Get that in your head, we're Premier League, we're going to be spending this type of money, it's going to happen sooner rather than later, you know, it's going to happen. You just got to get used to it now and, you know, everyone's going, oh, no way, we're paid the 10 million. It will happen, you know, it will happen. We will make a 10 million pound signing soon. Maybe not this year, potentially in maybe next year, but it will happen. Because we're a Premier League football club, um, and especially if we stay in the Premier League, that's what happens. You know, I, I think I'm reading that Nottingham Forest are signing a player for £30 million. You know, we're not there yet, but we soon will be because we'll be recruiting players of top calibre. And also, we will also keep progressing as a football club. So, you know, it's something which we kind of really need to get used to. And also, if Chong has a really good season, you know, in the Premier League gets 10 goal contributions or whatever happens he has a good season personally he's gonna get his transfer value goes from what 5 million to 10 million and we could receive a lot of money for him he's still 23 24 years old he's got plenty of potential you know he's going to get better whether he's like not Premier League ready right now is irrelevant because he's going to get better and there's so much money which we can reclaim back on what we got for him. So, you know, it's a positive for me. You know, you look at his dribbling ability, you look at his passing ability, he give, he puts you on, on your edge of your seat, man. I'm going to be so excited when I'm going to be sitting down watching him, you know, in the Premier League, and I'm going to be on the edge of my seat on what's he going to do next. He reminds me of... Paddy McCourt a couple of years ago where he used to be able to beat a few players but unfortunately other players around him just wasn't on his wavelength. Hopefully this time around it's a little bit different that the quality of players which we've got at Luton is totally different and the players will be able to understand what Chong is trying to do on the football field. But yeah, it's absolutely a great signing in my opinion. The third summer signing with three quality players I, I personally feel like as well. So Look, let me know your thoughts down below. I think it's a cracking signing. Can't wait to see him perform. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's a, it's going to be... A, I feel like it's going to be a good season for us. But yeah, looking forward to it. But those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.